I'm Richard Roper, and coming up next, Matt Damon and Scarlett Johansson star in Cameron Crowe's first dramatic film in six years. It's my review of We Bought a Zoo right now. We Bought a Zoo is exactly what happens in this movie, but it's an unfortunately trite title for a film that's a lot more than just a cutesy family movie. We bought a zoo! Yes, we did. We did buy a zoo. Give me some fork. Not that there's anything wrong with the movie you can watch with your preteen kid or with your grandmother. In fact, we need more films like We Bought a Zoo. This is a sweet, funny, unapologetically sentimental film loosely based on a true story about a family that actually purchased a rundown zoo. It's a bit complicated. What's so complicated about this place? It's a zoo. Nobody plays likable everyman better than Matt Damon. He's stellar here playing Benjamin Mee. Ben is a widower and a father of two reeling hard from the loss of his wife. He's desperate for a new start for his family. Hey, Rosie. Am I doing anything right? You're handsomer than the other dads. Lots of them don't have hair, so that's good. We learn from Jerry Maguire that director Cameron Crowe knows how to find the cutest kids on the planet. Maggie Elizabeth Jones is irresistible playing seven-year-old Rosie, while Colin Ford has the more challenging role as the brooding teenager, Dylan. This is what you want. It's not what I want. No surprise, the dilapidated zoo features some delightful exotic creatures and one magnificent dying animal that will serve as a metaphor. And of course, there's the obligatory colorful cast of staffers, including the conveniently beautiful and wonderful zookeeper Kelly, who looks a lot like Scarlett Johansson. Why did you buy this place? Why not? Granted, Crow tugs at your heartstrings with both hands. At times, We Bought a Zoo feels as manipulative as one of those commercials that have you tearing up despite yourself. But there's genuine substance here as well. The romance between Dylan and Elle Fanning's Lily is sweet and authentic. Thomas Hayden Church provides comic relief as Ben's older brother. And as the center of the story, Damon never strikes a wrong note. Strong, strong work here. The scene in which Ben explains to his children how he first approached the woman who would become their mother is just beautiful. Sometimes all you need is 20 seconds of insane courage. Just literally 20 seconds of just embarrassing bravery. And I promise you, something great will come of it. I give We Bought a Zoo an A. I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews on Reels and on richardroper.com. <laughs>